Hi friends, welcome back. Hope you all are doing good. In this video, I'll share the perfect recipe for uh, the Kerala traditional snack achappam or rose cookies. The achappams are um, crispy and delicious and it's quite easy to make also. So let us see how to make this uh, perfect achappam. For that, here I'm taking two eggs in a bowl. adding 10 tablespoons of uh, sugar if you want very sweet achapams you can increase the uh, quantity of sugar you can just uh, taste it and uh, add sugar accordingly but uh, according to me this is a perfect sweetness for the uh, achapam and also if too much sugar is added into the batter then the achapams uh, will turn into a deeper color uh, while frying we have to beat the eggs and sugar till it becomes nice and fluffy like this. I have used the hand mixer. You can use the whisk or the uh, mixie also. And now into this I am adding the first uh, coconut milk extract. I have extracted the milk from two, one coconut. And we will mix this. Mix the first uh, coconut milk into the uh, egg and sugar mixture. Now this is the second uh, milk extracted. I have also uploaded an easy achapam recipe uh, which is made without using coconut milk. If you are interested you can please check that also. Now here I have taken 500 grams of uh, finely powdered rice flour. I have got it powdered locally from the mill. But if you can uh, get fine powder, you can also do it in the mixer grinder at home. Uh, traditionally, these uh, achapams are made using um, unroasted, uh, finely powdered rice flour. You can also use uh, the uh, idiapam flour which is available in the uh, shops. We have to uh, mix it thoroughly so that there are no lumps in the uh, batter. I have added the entire flour and we will mix this in. Now we will add salt to taste. Here I am using salt water. You can use about half teaspoon of the uh, normal salt and mix it well. Now the batter is quite thick. Now we will add the third uh, coconut milk uh, extracted. We will add enough, just enough to get the right consistency. This should be the consistency of the batter. I have totally added two and a half uh, cups of uh, coconut milk. That is the coconut milk extracted from one coconut. Here I have used 200 ml uh, measuring cup. And into this we will add 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds or jeera. And 2 and a half teaspoons of black sesame seeds. I washed and uh, added the sesame seeds. And we will mix this uh, well. And we will allow this to rest for about... Uh, half an hour and we'll take the after half an hour we'll take the batter into a small cup like this so that it will be easy for us to dip the uh, achapam iron into this and uh, make the achapams instead of dipping the iron in the whole batter now the uh, achapam iron should be kept hot in the hot oil and whenever we dip the uh, iron into the batter it should be really hot so that the batter will stick to the iron or else the batter will not stick and we will not get perfect achapams. Dip the waffle iron into the batter and then dip it into the oil and after one second 
shake it uh, slightly so that it will be the achapam gets released easily when the achapam turns slight golden in color we should turn it and then take it from the oil allow the excess oil to drip, drip down and place it in a clay pot and then we can spread it onto a, a tissue also so that any excess oil can be uh, removed when we dip the iron into the batter we should see that the iron is hot and also we don't immerse the iron into the uh, batter or else uh, the achapam won't uh, release easily also carry the achapam iron into the oil very carefully so that uh, batter doesn't drip into the oil now the achapams are all ready uh, we can make about 45 achapams using this uh, uh, measure the achapams are nice and crispy and also very delicious do try the recipe i'm sure you will like it hope you like the video i would be very happy if you press the like button and please consider subscribing if you're new to my channel thank you for watching bye